It's exciting to be in a new place with lots of new smells. That is until these dogs discover the real reason they're here. Humans aren't the only ones affected by the water crisis in Flint, Michigan. Dogs have been exposed to lead as well. Thanks to a team of volunteers from the Michigan State University College of Veterinary Medicine, Flint's canine residents also are getting tested. Good girl. We are uh, hosting a free lead screening event for dogs. It just involves taking a small blood sample from uh, the dog and we're testing for lead levels and other heavy metals. Katie Jo brought in Missy after discovering spots on her hindquarters. You know, it could be related to the water. I don't know if it is or not, but I was just concerned that maybe she has lead in her system. Like many Flint residents, Job gave her dogs water from the tap, not knowing lead from old pipes had leached into the city's water supply. I would be devastated if my dogs had lead poisoning. State veterinarian James Averill says his office has documented seven cases of lead toxicity out of the more than 250 dogs tested so far. When you start getting further uh, longer term exposure to high levels of lead, then you might start seeing neurologic or um, brain uh, changes, he could get seizures. Greg Howe hopes the Siberian Husky Diamond hasn't been. Poison like the rest of the city of Flint is. So. The water crisis, affecting another vulnerable population. Mike Householder, Associated Press, Flint, Michigan.